use the quadratic formula to solve the equation x times the quantity of negative 2x minus 11 equals negative 3. So once we get our answer, we're going to replace m, n, and p with the correct values. So I'm going to flip over to my notebook paper here for a moment. And I have the quadratic formula written down for us. Let me scoot it up a little bit so we're not so confusing. And uh, just a reminder that in order to use the quadratic formula, we need to have the equation set equal to 0. But to start, let's distribute here. And we're going to get negative 2x squared minus 11x equals negative 3. So we distributed, but we also need to have the equation set equal to 0. So let's add 3 to both sides. And we get negative 2x squared minus 11x plus 3 equals 0. And once we have it in this format, then what we can do is we can identify that a is negative 2, b is negative 11, and c is 3. And we're going to fill those values back into the quadratic formula that I've been trying to write down before I do every problem here. So we're going to fill this in. So it's going to be x equals negative, or the opposite, of negative 11 plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 11 squared, minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. And darn it, you can't see anything that I just wrote down. Let me just go through it again, even though it's already written. x equals negative, or the opposite, of the value of b. b is negative 11, plus or minus the square root of b squared, we do want that negative 11 in parentheses, minus 4 times the value of a, which is negative 2, times c, the value of c, which is 3, all divided by 2 times negative 2. So just a reminder here, before I flip over to Desmos, that negative, negative is positive 11, plus or minus. The reason that I'm going to flip over to Desmos is I want to figure out what is this value right here. And I'm not going to type in the square root, I'm just going to type in the values. I paused the video to bring up Desmos, but here's Desmos. And again, what I'm going to type in, I'm not going to type in the square root. I'm going to type in negative 11 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times 3. And we get 145. So I'm going to write that down. And you've got to be able to see it. All divided by 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. So let's go back to Admentum. And we're going to fill in our values here. So again, instead of M, we're going to fill in 11. Got to get rid of that M here, which might be easier said than done for me. And then what we found for N is 145. It still didn't do very well, did I? And then down here for P, we came up with negative 4. And there's our answer to, um, darn it, you can't see it. I had it in the wrong way. So I typed in 11 for the M, I typed in the 145 for the N, and I typed in the negative 4 for the P.